during the break. Rookie oh, no. mistake. That's what happens when I only stream twice in two weeks. Very rough. <laughs> destroying my ability to stream it feels like if i don't stream every day i forget how to actually do this mm -hmm. yeah, all right no, that's weird like that so i've tracked down what the problem is uh some of you have inputted into your character sheet on the core stats there's a place called global bonuses and penalties and you guys have put things in there and that's what's throwing off all of your weapon rules okay so i've taken that out and I'm just going to roll for Cazador's Warhammer real quick, and it should be correct this time. Yep, it's absolutely correct. Okay. Yes. Where was that? Where was Global? Sorry about putting uh, I took it off of Rick Jax's sheet, but it's under core stats. Bottom left-hand yeah. corner, there's a big area called bonuses and penalties. So you guys had already put in, like, your bonus to attack rolls and your bonus to damage rolls, but since the sheet already calculates that on weapon attacks, that's why everything was doubled. Understood. Okay. Yep. No problem. What's that section down there for then? So if you, for instance, like if a dragon bestowed upon you the magic power of like a plus one to all of your attacks, you would add a one in the damage roll area. And then whenever wow. you rolled attacks from then on, it would always add one outside of anything else you were doing. Got it. Okay. It's the extra stuff. Okay. Yep. It's extra, yep. double extra. So extra. Let me see. I'm sure this is going to be correct then. But... So speaking of people who are extra, let's talk to Cazador. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is my turn? Uh, yeah. Why else okay. would he talk to you? All right. Then I'm going to be attacking the guy right in front of me over Aruna's body. Let's do this. Shh. Got these dice rolls, character sheet. Now Over my roll. dead body. Roll properly. <laughs> We're trying. Uh, yep. <clears throat> so, I get. Have you seen Princess Bride? <laughs> I, I haven't actually. <laughs> don't, don't ask what? me about that. Uh, Boy. Mother, <laughs> please. What is wrong with All you? All right. So, it sounds like everybody else has seen it, fortunately. Uh, this person is mostly dead, uh, <laughs> but they're also slightly alive. <laughs> Mostly that's not all dead. I mean, where did I hit them? But they're all you they're hit him dead center in the chest. He takes it through the shield and it slams his whole arm back into his own body. You hear a sick crunching noise. You're pretty sure you broke at least one rib and probably most of his left hand. It's Faruna, but he's still standing there. He's coughing up blood. His left arm with the shield is hanging kind of uselessly down, but he's still up with the spear all right um, oh i like how mortric now is like in this fencing pose where he's super actiony like at an angle yeah yeah see. that's that's yeah. how i look when i stab dogs that are asleep oh my good could you stab things that aren't dogs <laughs> or, or that are asleep <laughs> so runa <clears throat> let's talk about you for a second yeah let's step sideways let's everybody else is in the death defying you know combat for Actually, their lives i have a suggestion for yeah so since Runa's character is going to be out for two hours, we let Bearded play Cazador because Connor needs to go watch a goddamn movie. <laughs> <laughs> Runa, <clears throat> you are on a empty plain. Nothing grows here. Nothing has ever grown here except weapons of war, spears, swords, axes, in every direction through this almost gravel-like ground with no living thing in any sight just weapons everywhere you begin to feel as you're dying more alive than you ever have before and a voice booms from the sky Runa Yes. Runa. And you recognize that they're speaking in Orc. Why have you abandoned our ways? I did not abandon them. I was thrown out. Is that how Orcs are now? Is that how this generation is? 
for a hundred generations. Since the first orc, we are rebellion. We are revolution. We are rage. If your people do not accept you, you force them to accept you. I'm not strong enough. Your skin does not matter. Your strength does not matter. All that matters is your blood. As long as it flows through your veins, as long as you live, you are an orc. Will you be weak or will you be strong? Will you allow what has twisted you to become what you are, or will you remain what you were born as? You start hearing the sound of weapons slamming against shields, like one at a time, then two or three, and then it's like a drumbeat around you. I will be strong. Will you be strong? Yes. So while this mystic journey is happening, you also, in the in the sky above you, you <laughs> see Mortric's face. And he's just like, hang in there. And you feel your hand being lifted up. And you're just like, what's happening? And <laughs> you hear the voice in the sky go, what is happening? And Mortric's just like, I don't know how to save you. I'm just going to hold your hand. <laughs> Everything around you begins to fade <laughs> fade out and all you can hear is more trick babbling over your body god it's the, it's the worst way to wake up more trick it's your turn <laughs> that was awesome um you know it's probably so, just a hallucination uh, the one standing over she's he's mostly dead yeah he's got a little bit of life left in him okay so i'm gonna pull out my dagger because i feel like a rapier would be not great in this situation i was saying you could use a rapier and a dagger at the same time as a single action or yep. is it my bonus action it's your bonus action allows you to use a second weapon with no strength bonus okay so i wanted to use my bonus action for my bardic inspiration excellent tell me more so first i want to remind you that you are lying on the ground underneath Kazdor. Right, but that guy's right there. So I'm just gonna like reach up and like stab that guy. You will like, stab at disadvantage. Guy, you know, maybe in the in the nuts, whatever. Like, there's gotta be something within reach. I mean, oh, definitely. But it's just gonna be at disadvantage because you're rolling around on the floor. Why not stab with your knife in the foot? I'll allow for that. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead, make that just, roll. Like, right not disadvantage. Foot. Regular roll. All right. Show me this power. Dagger. Oh, nope. Come the fuck on. <laughs> it's what super telegraphed. <laughs> like you, you have to tell Casador to not take a step. And this guy's just like watching you the whole time. And you like raise your knife. He's just like, boop, 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 boop. God damn it! All right. Um, if I scoot back, he can probably get me. Okay, you scoot back. No, he, I'm saying, like, if I do scoot back, he can get me. Yes, like, he can take a reaction to attack. So I'm going to use a tried and true method I used during my rough and tumble years at yes. the Bard Preparatory School. Yep. I'm going to curl up at a defensive ball on the ground. And I'm going to yell, yell to Rick Jacks, give him, inspiring him and saying, save me! Very inspirational. Uh, some have said that it is Grammy worthy, if only because in certain languages, Save Me is a song. <laughs> Rick Jax, you feel inspired. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping you'd take this one out so I could shoot the other one. But okay, I'll, I'll shoot the injured one with a... What's that? Some of us have the same plan. Yep. So I'll shoot a uh, non-poison arrow. Very well. Give me that power. All right. Yeah, your bolt hits this guy. He it just right through the shield. The shield cracks. The bolt deflects and just hits it right in the heart. And he's just like, oh, and then falls like clutching his chest, trying to keep the blood from pouring out, bleeding all over Runa. It's super nasty. 
Excellent. I'm just gonna hit that again, just because I could have sworn I only hit the button once. I'm just testing now. I've yeah, but always on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. The last guy uh, now begins slamming his shield and his spear together and screaming at the top of his lungs. That's good. And running up to this door, swinging it open and disappearing beyond it. So you guys can see about that far. So he... Oh, shit. That's as far as he can hit. Oh, he's going to close the door behind himself. Ah. Okay. How far can we go? Okay, I can, I can check that, actually. Never mind. Most of you can move either 25 or 30 feet. Yeah. Cazador. So I can only go... So he used double action to move that far, right? Indeed. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. I'm going to step forward over Runa's body. Uh, Still a guy bleeding to death on her. That's cool. And... Yeah, yeah okay. I guess I move him. You and, kick him uh, out of the way as you go past. <laughs> and, then, and then I guess I try and just... Can I do more medicine on him, or...? Runa is as prepared as, as she can be. Okay. Without right. magical healing or a healing potion, which I guess is also magical healing. She's not recovering anytime soon. Okay. All right. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're still in combat, right? So I guess I move my maximum. As long pressure. as you wish to remain in combat, you will remain in combat. Yeah. Is there a door on the bottom right? Uh, south? All right. So east? there isn't. There's a secret door. Uh, if oh. you if you investigate or perception it enough, you'll be able to find it. It's very obvious on the map where it is. I mean, obviously, you guys, because I've revealed it accidentally. But yeah, okay. it's there. It's there. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm gonna try and investigate it. I mean, we can investigate as many, like at least each of us can inve investigate it as many times as. I mean, so what? here's the deal. This is how this works. Uh, either one person investigates or everyone investigates collectively and you need half or more successes. Okay, and then right? in that case, I'm going to let uh, Rick Jacks. All right, because he's, he's the investigation he's guy. This All right, so you're just moving up to the door. You're going to open yeah. it? No, I'm going to wait for the party to right. collect itself and like we're going to talk about what we're going to do, I guess. <laughs> Rooney, you're feeling very warm. More trick. What are you doing? Are we are we exiting initiative now? It sounds like it looks like yeah. people are dashing forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Out of combat. I'm gonna like pull some of the cloth off the dead guy and like try to wipe Runa off a little bit. And I'm gonna say to her, I would never tell you this when you're awake to your face where you could hear me and then murder me, but I think you might be more trouble than you're worth. And then I'm gonna drag her body into the room where all of us are. So she's not just out in the hallway. And then I'll wait by this door in case something comes up behind it. All right, Saruna, in your, yes. in your adult state, you briefly open your eyes. Mortric's face is uncomfortably close <laughs> to you. And you hear something like this. I never tell you when you're awake, but I think I... And that's all you get. <laughs> It's getting better and better. <laughs> okay, it, is Runa awake? Or no, she's, she's, she's out, oh, right? No, she's once, just semi-conscious. She needs two hours. Yeah. Okay. Once we investigate the room, we need to decide if I'm going to use the scroll to bring her back now, or if we want to think we can wait two hours. But then she only comes back with a single hit point. So I, I, sh I should note, by the way, that... Um, as you're as you're dragging Runa, you can still hear this guy like slamming the shield and and uh, spear together and running away in the distance, like screaming loudly. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna. Does anyone him speak goblin? No, no. All right, so to be clear, these guys aren't goblins, but they are definitely speaking goblin. Okay. Okay. Were they goblins to get Runa's body in the room. They were humans. They were humans. Okay. Yeah. I so this room is briefly illuminate, illuminated by like two glowing stones that they slammed together and dropped. The whole room? I'm going to yes. pick up those stones. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. As you pick them up, uh, go ahead and make a constitution save real quick. Oh, son of a bitch. Why would they do that? Because they need to pick it up. Okay. Uh, you go to pick them up. Have you practiced juggling in bard school? <laughs> um, it's one of those classes I failed out of. So it is super hot. Uh, you immediately begin tossing them. And you're like, oh shit, I just learned how to juggle two stones at the same time. <laughs> at some right, point, gonna... you manage to let them hit the ground again, where they remain. I'm going to go pull some gloves off one of the bodies, and then okay. come back for the stones. All right. All right, you, you get a good grip on the stones. You can kind of hear a sizzling noise from the glove. It's not going to last for like a super long amount of time. Okay. You know, it'll uh, last for a few minutes before that had, glove smokes. Uh breastplates didn't they nope they have cloaks and tunics oh, and that's okay. it they just they, had they just had shields. shields and spears mortrick how about instead of wasting that glove right now yeah cast the stones down any hallway that we come forward we see or that we that we like come across okay do you want to pop that door open and i'll check them down there mm. Well, first, let's let's investigate this uh, secret door. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop. You don't know it's there. You're like, wait, before we go forward, let's investigate the thing we don't know is there. <laughs> All right, Rick Jacks, hit me with your investigation. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the scroll on Bruno while Rick Jacks is investigating. Because... Okay. I mean, all right, that's a lot of money. But I mean, are we gonna sit here for two hours with that guy's making a huge noise out there? Yeah, I guess. I All right. died. I think, <laughs> and yeah. he's like, that's a lot of money, though. <laughs> when they, yeah, cast I don't know if I can save you. <laughs> cast, cast the spell. Oh magic, God, we still magic is meant to be used, so cast the spell. So, Rick yeah. as you wander around the room, uh, touching things, observing them, using your keen thieve perceptions, you find not one, but two secret doors. Passages mm -hmm. built into the stone. Uh, both of them are flip doors like uh fireplaces or library case ca um, uh will swap with the other side of it you see Understood. them on the southwest and southeast corners uh mortric as you go to read the scroll uh you you let off a couple words and in the end you go cactus <laughs> which is the activating word and runa you wake up and you just hear mortrick singing about cactuses for some reason uh go ahead and roll 1d8 plus three to see how much runa gets back me or runa uh, i feel yeah. like it's you mortrick it's up yeah, to you okay. Okay. how how much does your love hate uh despair well, yeah do i really want to see what the dice 1d8 set? plus three so it's it's the caster the uh the original caster's oh, charisma okay. bonus okay. Six hit points. Pretty good. Great. Welcome back, Runa. I'm going to say, Runa, Casador owes you 200 gold pieces. <laughs> Look, I'm not the one that, that took a spirit. Don't worry. I don't there. take it literally. <laughs> Where are we at? Uh, we're in the same room. We've got a couple and, of secret uh, doors. And we've got a door that a guy's making a lot of noise behind. Yeah, one of them took off. The one that got you. So I'm going to put this to the group. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying we have to, but we can keep it as a possibility. We just blow town. We can go handle a couple of other smaller jobs, maybe equip ourselves, and then we can come back to this at a later date when everyone who knows our face has been killed by the people in this mountain. And then we can just come back. In the walk. corner, one of the guys that you have uh, murdered is still bleeding out quietly. <laughs> He makes a gurgling noise as if in agreement or perhaps disgust. Shit, do you think we can ask that guy some questions? Or do we just need to go finish him off? I draw my dagger. I'll, I'll, take, your dagger. I'll, I'll take it from here. I'll, I'll walk over to the guy and <laughs> throw my, uh, just basically choke him into telling us I mean, he's, going he's, on. he's dying. Yeah. Oh, he's dying? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to intimidate him before he goes out? You want to be like, tell me your, your dying words. Let me know what's... Or, uh, you know... <laughs> if I how see how would you he's... go about it? You know, like, uh, your end can be peaceful or it could be painful. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hit I'm just with- like reliving that that dream I had and like all like the orc rage inside of me is just like coming out of it. Make yeah, a, I mean, make that intimidation check real quick. Let's see how that goes. I'm good at that because Are you I'm, good at that? Interesting. No. No, I am not. Yeah, I didn't think you would be. <laughs> Uh, but maybe the spirits of the orc shamans of the past will guide your die roll to like an 18 plus or it's minus 2 that's not bad 17 17 it's respectable with a negative 2 <clears throat> alright so here's the problem this guy begins babbling in goblin uh, but man, then only- then he's like okay okay what do you want to know did you have to kill me where are they leading us? D- deeper. Deeper. The general. How many? What a way for what awaits us down there. So much. To, to the south. At least three more. And the general. He moves like the wind. Invisible. Make it grow in size. Enormous. The But Maybe they're there. Maybe they're not. Who knows? Pain, please. You promised. I'll slip my short sword into his chest. All right. Yeah. Three more, huh, guys? I say a little prayer before I get up. And I'm going to turn to everyone and be like, oh, so it's fine when Runa kills that guy, but you killed the dog. <laughs> He was asking for it. We have some trouble ahead of us, guys. To the south. Okay. Wait, so like, I'm going to listen to the like doors. <clears throat> What's up? I'd like to check out the secret doors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's like uh, a stone that when you press it, it'll shoop you to the other side. Which one would you like to check out? Southeast or southwest? Uh, stick to what I've got. So southeast. All right, you sh- you disappear from the rest of your party, and an identical looking door slides into place. You uh, wind up in a tunnel. This one is not so clean. Uh, it's not that it's dirty or anything, but like dust has gathered. It doesn't look like anybody's polished it in a while. No one's been here, right? At the end, there's another revolving door. All right, so can I go back out the one I just came in? Yep. You uh, you quickly find the thing on the wall that you're pressing. Shh. You scooby doo well, back to the other got, side. I was explaining to you guys my theory that I thought those guys were the janitors and they cleaned up because I've known some mean janitors back in my day. There is this group of guys who cleaned up one of the you know buildings at the Bard College and assholes. Let me tell you. Oh, hey, Rick Jacks, you're back. <laughs> All right, so do you want me to check the other secret door, or do you want to give it a go, Cazador? Uh, I'll give it a go. So I'm going to approach it, and is anyone going to get behind me, Runa? Or are you kind of just going to chill for a bit? Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to stay here. All right. All right, I'm behind you then. More trick? You're going to be okay. Rick Jacks. Yeah. All right. So I it's a swinging door, like. A revolving door, you said? Oh, but we can't keep it open. Okay, so I'm going to stay up here. I'm going to go with the buddy system. We should probably never leave one person alone, especially when that one person has a habit of dying. Sounds good. Around you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... I didn't stab you yet. Wow, I like how you had to qualify that one. <laughs> uh, All right, so I'm going to revolve. How does it revolve? Like... We, it, you know, it's like a typical bank revolving door, like a big corporate hey, office. Have you okay. ever seen uh, but it's made with wooden doors, right? So, you know, like, it's not see-through. Have C-3's. you ever seen the movie Young Frankenstein? Yes, but a lot for a long time. Thank God. They have a revolving bookcase in that movie. True. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to sort of like... like you know. Yep, you push it open. Uh, yeah. In the next room, there are piles of dead bodies in here. They look oh, quite shit. fresh. Uh, some of them seem very familiar to you Uh, some of the cultists missing limbs uh, some of the goblins they have burn marks all over them Uh, all of their hair has been out 
<clears throat> also, one thing you do not see is Oren's corpse. Okay, I was going to ask. There, there are more corpses here than originally you would have thought. Like, there's more than just the people you killed last night. Yeah. Uh, there are four more human corpses between the ages of, like, 18 and 33. Are they wearing peasant or just otherwise normal I mean, outfits? I mean... What little clothing they have left has scorch marks on it. Hmm. This must be where the villagers are taken, as well as they must. They seem to sacrifice their own, as well as the village. Or this is this is cleanup of the guys that we killed. Yeah, but there's extra bodies here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to approach this door and I'm going to listen. Uh, I guess I gotta do a perception check. I will do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, skills. Perception. Okay, I rolled. Yeah. You know how some people whistle while they work? <laughs> you unintentionally, you're like listening there and then you start humming. You're like, na, 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 na. And you catch yourself and you're like, ah, shit. Okay. And you're such a stereotype. All right. Uh, so there's another door. There's another revolving door on the other side of this door as you All crack right. it open slightly. All right, Martrick, Runa, I think you guys can get in here just in case. Like, can we hear you? When there? you say that, you hear someone in the next room go, Who's there? Uh, then you begin hearing footsteps coming towards the door that you're standing at. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bust through and try and take him by surprise. Ah! You bust through. Uh, there, it is a rounded chamber. You're the only one in it besides this uh, aged man. He's about seventy or eighty in human years. Uh, he's just like standing in the middle of the room now that he's almost over to you. Bodies are everywhere in here, and there's like weird apparatuses where the bodies have been strapped down onto tables into chairs there's uh glass like jars some of the glass jars are sparking but he's like oh oh my intruder intruder summon oh my goodness where is the master where is the master all right. He starts like grabbing at his hair and start trying to pull it out. He's like, "Oh, please don't hurt me! I, I'm just the assistant around here. I don't have anything to do with any of this. They made me do it. They made me do it." All right, I'm gonna tackle help, him. Help! And... Help! I'm being tackled. Can someone help me? There's an ordinary dwarf tackling me right now. Oh, oh, he's crushing several of my body parts. Ah, oh, my liver hasn't recovered from the drinking yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bruna Mortrick still in the other room. You hear every word of this. Oh, we can hear it? Yes. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, of course. It sounds like that's going pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no role for you to take down a 70 year old man. You're a trained dwarven <laughs> fighter. You, you, just, you just tackle him to the ground. No All big right. deal. Yeah, I got my I got the Warhammer staff like sort of on his neck. I'm like, what the heck are you doing here? I said, I told you I'm an assistant to the master. What are these sp sparking vials? They're, they're, they're lightning jars, of course. What, have you been you've been scorching all these rooms? I you... haven't been doing anything but cleaning up occasionally and letting out the house pet. I told you he's a house pet? That's the house pet. What's that? <sighs> I'm going to yell down the hall, I bet it's a bear, you short dumbass. The house pet. It's, how do I describe it? It's like a large blob of ooze that travels along and sucks up everything in its path. Oh shit, that is so not, not the, the bear. bear. We do not want to be here anymore. <laughs> so not the bear. What's the bear doing the here? Bear? What the what what do you think the bear is doing? It's the animal companion. The, animal the companion? bear, its name is Mortimer, and it's been with the master for years. Mostly. So is the master a druid? He's the master. Of, oh, of course, master is a druid. <laughs> I've been traveling with the master for three decades. Why? Why wouldn't I? My family has served the master's family for generations. <laughs> what is the master? What do you mean? What is the? What are you even doing here? Where are the guards? 
Why are you still pushing this infernal thing against my throat? I'm old. <laughs> you're also you're also capable of some serious fire. Some power. serious fire. I mean, you yeah. think I'm going to insult you to death right now? I could choke on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I let up on the let up on the hammer. So, I mean, like as you do that, you can see this guy is shaking in fear. He's <laughs> absolutely frightened of you. And he's trying to throw some sass back at you, but like there is this there's a particular stench of ammonium from the urine that he's peed his pants with. Alright, I let up on the war hammer and say, what what what's behind that door behind you? Well, that's just technically where the guards should be. The training area is up that way. Apparently, someone set off the trap. Hmm. That was that was last night. Well, uh, night, day. You don't really keep track of those things. It was like ten or twelve hours ago. <laughs> you know, yeah. it was like four sunglasses ago. Yeah, I suppose you don't have a window in here, do you? You think you have a window inside of a dwarven tomb kind of, you know, takes away from the whole security thing. I may not be a dwarf, but I know a bit about dwarven tombs. Been in here for a few years. You don't have to tell me about dwarven tombs. I'm just I feel like you're going to end up in one pretty soon if you keep messing around here. No, that sounds way too threatening. Who, who's the one with the warhammer to, to a person's neck here? I thought you were taking the warhammer away from my uh, neck. Yeah, but it could go back any second. <sighs> <laughs> well, look, I... It's my job to sound kind of villainous, right? I mean, it's what the master would want. What does the master want? What does the master want with these villagers? <sighs> okay, well, look, it's a very long and sad story. How long do you have? Not very long, and I have little, little patience for what is your sad story when you're the one murdering villagers. I haven't murdered anybody, you except or, maybe some nice your, cows. Your kind. My kind, my kind. Are you accusing all humans of murder? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn to Runa in the other room and be like, I would never use language like that. That is highly offensive. You always use language, language like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all your right. Kind is in your group. What Look, is normally group? I would give you the full details, but you need the speedy version. Okay. My master is a druid who has been blighted with a sickness. She has not yet achieved mastery of the timeless body and agelessness that some superior druids of ancient legend have achieved. So she needs to buy herself some time. She's looking to teach herself reincarnation. Sounds but it like hasn't been it working. Truly. She's been testing it. At first it was, you know, just animals and such, but now she's been over the last several months using humans and other more foul creatures and for some reason she managed to get this general this mercenary involved very dastardly creature don't really like him he doesn't enjoy my tea so he can just get right out of here anyway so, so what, anyway she's looking he, to uncover general? the secrets of if not reincarnation then perhaps some sort of afterlife ability or, at the very least, her studies could lead her to this ancient mystic art of agelessness. And so what do you get out of it? You are also... I am a servant of the master. My family has served her for four generations. And they never shared this agelessness with you? Well, if she had the agelessness, she wouldn't need to share it with me because she would live forever. <clears throat> and I'm sure that if she had it, I wouldn't be able to have it. Do I look like a druid to you? I'm a butler. And now I guess I'm a laboratory assistant. I swap vials around. Occasionally I adjust straps. I make More like tea. like a laboratory assistant, right? <laughs> <laughs> that room no, over there is to and say, I'm you're sorry, so I funny. I think you're hilarious, don't you? At times. All right. Could you get um, off of me at some point here? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get off. I, I'm I, saying, I, can you get off of me? <laughs> Do I look like a threat to you? Listen, All right. So Rick Jacks will come in and do some investigation while they're. Oh shit! There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, you know, you look like. You feel like betraying him, maybe for a good amount of money. 
Oh, how much? Get two hundred dollars. Oh my God! Is there another one of you? <laughs> Make it two fifty. We have a oh, lot of people. Oh, you to seem pay. like you're maybe like an adventuring party or something. Have you considered working for the master? Did I hear two fifty? I feel like she could flip that. <laughs> Do you have it here on you? I mean, I don't have it on me. We could go to the master and negotiate. Hmm. Come on. Haven't you ever asked yourself, what would it be like to be in control of a small town? <laughs> 250 gold plus, I'm sure we could arrange some sort of, you know, like percentage of the town's production yearly. We have a quest, guys. We have a quest for these, for these artifacts. Some of us have outstanding debts. Uh, Rick Jax, you look around the room. It is nasty in here. Uh, much of the story seems to corroborate. There is a lot of, I'd say human experimentation, but obviously it's not just humans being used in here. There is a lot of electricity uh, involved in this particular brand of experimentation. And it does not seem to be going well for any of the subjects that have been strapped down. All of them are dead. Uh, none of them, however, have had their like belongings removed. Everybody in here still has all of their uh, equipment on them, except, you know, the weapons have been thrown into a corner. Are there human subjects on? Yes, there are several human subjects and strapped down. Well, let's check the gear. Uh, I'm going to check the gear. Oh, you're finally going to check the gear of the dead people. Okay, yeah. let me look. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me get you what what is in here. Hey, so while they're in there that whole time, I want to be listening at this door to see if it sounds like anyone's coming back this direction. Sure, go ahead and make that. Uh... I'm gonna go in there, I guess. Um, meanwhile, I'm gonna be saying, you, you, you've desecrated Dwarven Holds. There's no way I'm gonna take anything from you. you have human subjects. How could you do such a thing? Okay, are you ready to write this down, Rick Jacks? Fire away. 15 silver pieces. One bronze figurine that looks exactly like you, Rick Jacks, but it has demonic horns. Okay. A small pewter cube with an inset gear on each face. A red rose petal entombed in glass. One exchange journal with two names printed on it. Four sets of human clothing, all of it having been in some manner burned. Two short swords. Two bucklers. Okay, what was that exchange thing again? Okay, so uh, it's a diary that has two names printed on it. Can I tell what the names are, what language? Uh, they are in uh, common. Okay, so the names are? The names are Gifu and Alaril. G-I-F-U and A-L-A-R-E-L. Okay, and sorry, the red rose is a what? So there is a single red rose petal entombed in a sphere of glass. Okay, curious. All right, so I want to wait for Mortric. What are you doing, Mortric? I'm, I'm listening at this door. And then... Uh, do we get a roll for that? Yeah, I did, right. had an 18. 18. All right, more trick. <clears throat> As you're listening at that door, it becomes apparent to you, not just through listening, but also through feeling, uh, an instinct. You're not sure where in the next room they are, but there are definitely people waiting for you there. Uh, yeah, more than the likely, scuff yeah. of a boot a sigh the scratch of a dagger on stone someone's more than one 
are waiting in that next room in preparation for someone to walk through that door. Okay. And they're going to murder that person real bad. <laughs> okay, so I turn around, I find out Rune has left me, and I go, ah! <laughs> and then I'll head to the room, um, making sure all of these doors are shut behind me. And okay. there's no way to barricade these things. That's immediately obvious. That's correct. Um, Okay. You could, for instance, try to jam something into the control the mechanism. Yeah. Um, but then we might lock ourselves in place. That's true. Well, if you I jam have... it in from this side, I might be able to... You know what? I'm no. going to go ahead and do that anyway. I'm going to look for something to jam in there. Okay. Yeah, we'll put a into the stone what are you going to jam in there? Um, are there any loose... Body parts. Available? There are no like loose rocks. You could, you could go grab a body part. Nice finger uh, bone. What is it with me and bodies? Yeah, what uh, is it with you and bodies? Grab one of their wooden shields and jam one of the shields in there. I mean, that's way too big for. Uh, we're we're talking. We're talking. Oh, you mean like in the doorway? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yep. Go ahead and make a. Uh, what do you call them? Their uh, the thieves' toolkit roll real quick with proficiency. <laughs> and I like you do with intelligence this time as the stat. Uh, where is? I don't think I have my thieves' toolkit in there. So it's just you make a proficiency roll with your intelligence bonus. Okay. See if you can uh, wedge this shield in real good. Oops. Show me the power. <laughs> you are marveling ever. at your brilliance. Do you think you have this thing <laughs> perfect? But guess, you... well, guess what? Nobody's around to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I come into the room. They're like. Listen, they're waiting. They're going to murder the shit out of us. Don't worry. I stopped the door. There's no way they're getting in here. So for all folks at home, that was a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, shit, it's this guy. Is this a janitor? Yeah. He's the janitor. So the and rest me. of you are looking, right? You show up, you see the janitor. In the corner, Rick Jax is like holding a statue of himself with some horns made out of... Uh, what do we make it? bronze it's like super yeah, weird bronze. yeah and you're like oh shit what are you doing with that you have a commemorative statue <laughs> but martrick i was waiting for you since you have an affinity for magic i want to see if you can uh sense anything from this pile of stuff oh yeah i definitely uh, know what that stuff is you have I'm detect magic i have detect magic and identify but do i want to save either of my spell slots for Escape. How long do we think we have? Because I could do one of those as a ritual, I think. Uh, yeah, ritual will take 10 minutes to cast it. I'm going to go up to the janitor and be like, so I he's, suggest you leave. He's still on the floor with Cazador over him, and he's like, I would also like to leave. Can you get this brood off of me? I don't think we should let him leave, guys. What are, we, what are you talking about? I'm going right. back to the master. Have you considered employment? Not Look, we aren't really evil. She's just trying to live, okay? Is that really evil? It's trying to extend you see what you've done here. Have you seen this room? This I, is Look, I just tightened down the straps, okay? And I the water and tea and I helped doing the cleanup and I let the house pet out, okay? So I'm not really responsible for any of this. I'm just a butler. I demand to be treated with some respect. Do you know how hard it is to buttle at my age? <laughs> you get no respect, sir. You're personally responsible for everything that you do. But you're personally responsible for tackling an old man to the ground and holding him there with a stick. That's yeah. a lot like Mortric. I don't know who that is. Thank you, Runa. I appreciate that. <laughs> is that one Mortric? Yes. <laughs> it looks like a Mortric. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna use. He won't leave. I'm gonna tie him up onto the back. I'm gonna take one of the dead bodies off and put him in there and strap him on. All right. Yeah, you're way stronger than him. Yeah, like you put him on there, and he's like, "Oh, it's so icky right now. You could have cleaned it off." Oh, there's there's dried blood on my. Ah, do you know how hard that is to get out of these clothes? Identify is only one item, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna do detect magic on the group. Okay, on all that... those items. Yeah. All right. The rose petal is magical. Okay. Nothing can clean what you have on your hands already. 
Um, he like looks at his hands and he's like, they, they look pretty clean to me. <laughs> so Don't he's like cute. straining at the neck tie down. And he's like, no, they look, they look pretty clean from here. I mean, I can't get like a full angle of viewing, but. <laughs> oh, you're being metaphorical. Okay. All right. Look, I, like I said, I'm not responsible for any of this. Y you know, young lady, you seem like you're having a hard time of it. You know, you're covered in blood. Have you considered perhaps like some buttling service? Like, I'm sure we could get you like some hot towels and some hot. I throw him against the rack and just pin his head there. All right, yeah. Say another word, and it will be your last. Another word, and it will be your last. I'm in the face. Okay. Yeah. You, you, you punch an old man in the face. She's like, ah, oh, what? You told me to say that. <laughs> Bruna, I've never been more proud of you. And then to Rick Jacks, I say, like, this one is magical. These are trash. But I would keep this because this is really amazing, man. Like, they really captured your likeness. Like, I can see you in this statue. Have you thought about horns? <laughs> yes. Does modeling work in the past, Rick Jacks? <sighs> it's not me. It just looks like me. <laughs> Looks it's exactly like you. So about these, yeah. uh, what about these sparking potions? So uh, they're glass jars with electricity running along the inside of them. Okay, so when you go near know. them, he, the the butler who's you know being held down by Runa yeah. turns his head sideways. He's like, "You probably shouldn't touch those. It will hurt a lot. You'll actually probably die." What about that glove? How about okay? How about this? Butler, you touched them. Well, I'm strapped to a table, and she's hitting me in the face. Yeah, uh, but well, also, I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, well, we need to see if we can use these to throw them into the next room to kill your general, so... Well, he's not in that room. Uh, well, I probably shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> but also, you really shouldn't mishandle those things, you know? They're implements of science, not weapons. Could you get her off me at some point? Young lady. I'm going to put a gag in his mouth. Is there like some cloth? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of really tie nasty him. cloth. I'm going to fucking gag this dude. I mean, he's strapped to the table already. You don't need to tie him yeah, up yeah. anymore. Yeah. All right. He's gagged. He just he stops talking when he's got this, you know, icky cloth in his mouth. And he's just like, oh. Oh, so much better. More trick. Do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what exactly by, by jars like what exactly do you mean like are they aligned up are they like conducting electricity to each other or all right so there's like individual canister jars next to some of the beds and chairs and such there's like weird wires hanging off that look like you could put them onto the jars uh but i don't know that any of you have like engaged in mad science before <laughs> it, if you have it's okay you can tell I me mean I will try it once. We won't yeah. judge you. Anybody have any rubber gloves? I have this pair of gloves I found outside. They are not yeah. rubber gloves. They're, They're not rubber gloves. Yeah, not that we would know what a rubber glove is or that it would be important. Mm, okay, I guess we have to leave those glass jars behind. They look important. Uh, well, we just need, we just want a body to touch them, right? There are like plenty of bodies in this room. True. Yeah. Well, it might conduct. It might transfer from the body to us. Well, right. Well, can I do? Body at it. Can Rick Jacks do an investigation to kind of determine if there's perhaps some offensive value to these jars? I feel like just a general intelligence check would work. Intelligence. Yeah, I don't Would know that investigation ask? would be. Uh... If we assist. One of us could roll with the. Yeah, table. yeah. You could put your heads together. Okay. Especially the college cool. student. Oh, I got good intelligence. I'll do that. Okay. okay. Well, that's a uh, 16. Yeah. If you could find some way to safely handle these jars, you could definitely throw them at someone and it would probably unleash quarterfying lightning from within. Uh, on the other hand, you get the idea that if you mishandled them at all, you will probably die. Yeah, let's leave these behind, fellas. It's too dangerous. This mad scientist is trying to, like, Frankenstein some people. We don't need what's, any of that. What's a Frankenstein? The ancient I legend in this world. 
Yeah, it's a flesh golem. Haven't you heard of those before? I mean, I skipped a lot of classes, guy. Guys, I skipped a lot of classes. What You're classes like, did you go to at this point? <laughs> you failed juggling. You, you skipped <laughs> legendary history. I mean, <laughs> let me try to think of the. That's a good question. Let me try to think of the classes I did go to. Beatbox anyway, we don't 101. Have that kind of time right now. Dwarf college, college is 100 years by comparison. I don't know what, what the point is of humans going to college at all. You went to How 201 Rhyme. <laughs> all right. Uh, Surprisingly, it's a first year course, though. <laughs> yeah, I never get out of the 100s. I will, um, I'll bag up all the items. I'll let everyone know what we've got in the inventory. We'll talk about it later. So bag up all the items. Mm -hmm. And then I think um, I'll go investigate that north door. All right. Just to be clear, are you guys leaving this old man strapped to the table with a gag what in his mouth? What is our or like, now? I think. What is our job here? Like, why what is our job here? In for the town. Like our, our job was to stop the night raids where they yeah. were losing townspeople because townspeople yeah. were disappearing, especially at night. Yeah. That's right. what these guys are doing. These guys are stealing their body snatchers. I also want to remind you specifically that Halleck, whose name is not Gurney, <laughs> enticed you to do this job, and in exchange, he would tell you about an interesting flute he'd heard about, which oh, you right. believe might be the Ocarina of Fascination. <clears throat> right. Okay. All right, Rich X. You're investigating this northern door. Yes, sir. Uh, it has one of those like little tiny eye slots, so it's very easy to see through. There's no okay. locking mechanism. Uh, <laughs> there's no traps involved on it, as far as you can tell, with the ten. You look into the hallway through the slot, and there is another door to the north. This hallway, uh, pristine, except for the weird, like, squiggly drag marks along the floor. Uh, there's blood, probably other bodily fluids that have been stained there. Along the hallways, there is uh, depictions of a giant wheel of cheese with a ring sitting on it. Okay. Take the gag out of the butler's mouth. I'm like, what's up with the cheese? Right. The, you don't know the story of this dwarven fortress? Not at all. It's, it's, well, been, it's long since been forgotten. That's I mean, you can read so it on far. the walls. It's everywhere. Uh, you didn't see the elephants and the volcanoes and the giant rings of cheese? I mean, we saw them. What we kind of... realized that they were you? something to eat and eat. I thought those were pictographs. <laughs> there is a story to be read when you put them all together, and I've been around for quite a while. I'm, I'm quite the scholar myself and a note-taker. If you let me up, I'll tell you about the cheese. <laughs> all right, I pick him up by the ropes. <clears throat> I mean, as, he's he's strapped to a table. Like, as yeah. a liar myself, can I get a read on whether or not this guy's telling us? The Make an insight check. I was gonna say, here comes that natural one. Uh, <laughs> that's sleight of hand, though. What is your insight bonus? Oh, what I thought I pressed. Oh no! The oh, you got a seventeen on the roll. You're more than good enough. Yeah. Okay. So look, this guy is a weasel. He will do whatever it takes to survive this situation and deflect any responsibility from himself. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna tell Cazador, listen, pains me to say this, but it takes one to know one. And I think this guy's better off getting the dog treatment and I pull my dagger out. Hmm. Our dogs, I love dogs. Wait, why are you pulling a knife out? <laughs> so do I. I say, I say we keep him strapped down and we save him, we bring him Bring him back to the town. Let the town decide what to do with him. What? You can't charge me with anything. I haven't done anything but buttle. I demand that you let me up here. This is murder you're <laughs> talking about. Murder, <laughs> sir. Murder. I don't feel like this town has a strong jurisprudence system. So. I will speak with the Baron about this. I'm sure you will. And then he'll, he'll bring an axe down on your head. But that's not our problem. Well, I mean, like, it All would right. be he begins problem. violently yeah. shaking oh, as best he can, trembling against the straps. He's like, oh, 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 ah. Uh, all right. Put the gag back in his mouth. Uh, what do you guys, I mean, I think, I think that's the best course of action. Hopefully someone right, will so, be able to tell 
he'll be able to tell the Baron precisely what's been going on here. They said there were three more of them and the general. Three more, and then I assume there's also this druid, which could potentially be dangerous. Yeah, there's a group of us, a group of them waiting for us in the other room, but I barricaded the door so they can't get to us. <laughs> so we want to clear it out on this end, and then... They're waiting for us. We should find an alternate route. Yeah. I don't know if there is an alternate route besides the bear. Oh, wait. Yeah, so I'm going to unplug his mouth right again and be like, what does the bear like to eat? I don't have anything to say to you. Release me and allow me to go and I'll back in there. We're like, I don't know, we got nothing on the bear. But yeah, let's let's try to not walk in that door that they want us to because Runa's gonna die again. Do we uh do we remember how to get out of this dungeon? Do we keep a map? I mean, how's that work out? Unless you said you'd kept a map, then we don't really know how to get out. I mean, I think look. my character is smart enough to form a map in his head and never get lost. Asador has experience with tunnels, so he wouldn't really have any problem finding his way around, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not like you guys keep a perfect map in your head, but some of you have pretty good intelligence scores. I mean, you have a plus three, Rick Jax. I feel like you don't have like an auto mapping system in your head. You couldn't like write down a map somebody else could use, but you can definitely find your way back out of here very easily. Yeah. Okay. I kind of, I just hate to leave places unexplored. So there's that door to the north. I'd like to go check that out first before we go deeper in the in the dungeon. He said there would be guards there. If there are in fact guards there, that would just mean an, another fight. Exploring doesn't mean it's going to be something good. It could mean we die. <laughs> so, getting to what we need. I say we bar this door here, the door on the far end, and then we I've proceed already forward. the door in case there are more guardsmen <laughs> inside that room. That would that'd be fine. I'll go with the group. So you want to you want to bar up the one where I'm at, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, let's bar it up or, you know, anything to shove into the ground. Okay. What kind of door is it? Uh, it's just a simple wooden door with a hinge. Okay. Lockable uh, on this I... side or the other side? We could put one of his one of his torture torture uh, tables in front of it and sort of bar it that way. All right, you you like it's gonna take two of you to like lift and drag these things into the way, but yeah, you can keep it from opening. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna be so strenuous that we're like depleted or anything. It's not that heavy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll just take time. Okay. Cast right. the point of exhaustion. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back. I'm gonna unbar this door here. All right. Are we stuck? Let me ask a question. Where is everybody when Cazador heads back? Um, I'll just follow along in the regular marching order. Yeah, we talked about it while you were gone. So our marching order is Cazador, Runa, Mortric, and me. Okay. Let me have you guys in that marching order, and then I will tell you what happens. All right. Cazador, <laughs> Mortric, Runa, then Rick Jax. So Rick Jax is at the back, right? Yeah. yeah, Runa should be after. Yeah, there you go. There we okay. Go. All right. So here's what happens, Cazador. You. <laughs> I'm going to put out on the way to the door. This I'm is going to be your fault. You guys may not be able to open it. It's jammed pretty good. So you move forward, Cazador. You're, you're, you hear Mortric telling you about how good jammed in it is. <laughs> You go wow. forward and you easily lift it out and you're like, this isn't jammed in at all. And then you notice uh, the door has been recently opened and this has been replaced to make it look like it was jammed. The next thing that happens, Rick Jacks, you hear a scuffling noise behind you and out of nowhere, an enormous figure appears and slams into you with a huge ass war pick. Yeah. Bloody hell. So he's getting an ambush attack on you. Thanks a lot for that passive perception, guys. What happened to the table? I got, we put that table in front of it. You put the table up over here from this door. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Wait, which door? Yeah, yeah. This one, yep. yeah. Yep. He's on the other door. <laughs> so where'd this guy come from then? That's a great question. Party. Snuck in okay. behind us. Okay, I'm just, I just want to make sure he didn't come from that door. Uh, all right, I'm I'm betting a 21 definitely beats Rick Jax's 
Yeah, beats my 14. Okay, Rich X, you take 16 points of damage. I am negative five. Okay, you go down. He slams into you with a war pick, and you look down at your stomach. The pick is embedded in it, and then he uses down. his giant foot to slide you off of it, and you you hit the wall, and you're trying to keep your chest propped up as you begin to lose consciousness. Rick Jacks! Uh, this guy has appeared out of nowhere. Uh, for you, Kazador, you immediately recognize this creature. It is a Duragar, one of the fell gray dwarves of the fallen dark. Uh, Duragar. Yep, let's roll for initiative. Right, these are these are bad dudes, the yeah, baddest of dudes, are. with I'm really not. high initiative rolls. Hey, just so you know, I'm negative seven, not negative six. So, uh, so as long as you you just hit zero, is how it goes. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. You just hit zero, and now you'll start making what's called death saving throws. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta select my character. No, I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh. I can stop rolling sixes. That'd be great. <laughs> I'm rolling a six too. You, you get a plus two on your initiative or something? Yeah. Uh, you still need to roll initiative rejects. Just in case somebody gets you up. Also to track your dying. All right. <clears throat> so this guy steps over Rick Jax's body and says, in, in Dwarvish, to Kazador, surrender now or I will murder your companion before your eyes. Um, he begins lifting a massive war pick over What did he his say? Head. What did he say? What He's got he a say? boot. He said surrender, guys. I don't know. This tell, him, tell him we heard about an employment opportunity from the janitor. He speaks a common and says, I can understand you. <laughs> surrender <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We were here about the job listing. Oh, we just heard it from the guy in the other room. Uh, All right. So, so let me let me catch some some tallies from the party <laughs> here real quick. Real surrender, yes or no? I don't know. That's... I mean, I I don't know enough about these guys. Like, how how badass is this guy? Like, he's, he's I mean, he just, he just he just knocked out Rick Jacks out. and is currently holding Rick Jacks' dead body hostage. Yeah, yeah I'm for surrendering. <laughs> yeah, I'm also surrendering. Yeah, surrender. Okay. Aruna's going to die if we don't surrender. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right. So uh, he gestures for you all to drop your weapons. Can't drop my hands. <laughs> what about the rest of you? Weapons yeah, dropped? Yeah, I, dro I dropped my weapons. Kick them yeah. away. And then he points at Mortric. You fix him. Sure. Got it. All right. I'll make a medicine check. I'm on it, boss. Well, Rick Jax, I need you to roll. I uh, need you to roll death saving throw first. It's your turn. Next. And what do I roll that against? Uh, you just roll d twenty. If you get an eleven or higher, or I think maybe it's if you get a ten or higher. Ten, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. that's super bad. That's a Ooh, one. Shit. Uh, so you need to either get three successes before you get three failures, and a one means you get two failures. So if you take any damage or fail again, you will die. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's bad. Him up, I can't okay, so <laughs> You're like, backup character. He's also a deep gnome. His name is Jax Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Mordrick. Rick Jax is bleeding out very quickly. There's, there's more than a trickle of blood from his like, stomach Do you have hole. anything that could help real fast? He's like, help. I not kill him. Oh shit! <laughs> that is helping. Can I use the second number? Uh, no. <laughs> that's bad. That's that's a one. Uh, I think I made a call when you need it. <laughs> you're you're trying to keep his insides insides, and that's the best you can do. Runa, what would you like to do? As I need help. Yeah, assist. Uh, okay. More trick. Yeah, go ahead, make that roll. Show me show me your medicine magic. <laughs> if both of you guys fail. You still have Kazador. You still have Kazador to fall back. Yeah, yeah. Is there a dice roll? Yeah, Runa's typing oh it in. Oh my god. 
also a one. The two of you don't you don't have any cloth in your hands. You can't get any pressure bandages. You guys are just trying to keep the blood inside his body before he wastes out. Get away, guys. Get away. Kazdor. <laughs> this Duragar is watching impassively as your party is like three stoogesing with Rick Jax's body. <laughs> you guys quit poking me. <laughs> it hurts. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm going to do medicine. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to try and do something. About you barrel it. into your companions and push them aside. You, you get out some pressure stuff. You keep all of the insides inside where they belong. <laughs> you guys are not going near any wounded people again for a long time. <laughs> the Duragar pulls out some rope and tosses it to uh, Mortric and says, tie up the other two. Okay. Do I have to roll for that? <laughs> no, I mean, I assume if they're cooperating. Can you, can you, can you uh, I mean, I, it's, not my, it's not my call, but can you can you sneakily try and make the ropes, ropes loose? Yeah, you could try a deception real quick. Can I, am I allowed to say that? Like, well, like, I mean, I was thinking. Yeah, about... no, I mean, look, like, look, here's the thing. There's something called the PC significant glance, right? Like in real life, if I went like, you know, like, okay, yeah, loosen up those ropes. Right, yeah. like you guys couldn't communicate a twenty-page thesis paper about how Mortric is going to like get on this guy's side and overthrow him. But if you want to be like loosen them ropes, you could just like wiggle your hands behind your back, and Mortric yeah, would do. Yeah. Okay, my deception's pretty strong, so I'm. Gonna well, go. let's see how strong it is. Every time you brag, you worry me. God, motherfucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so. You, you finish Cazador's ropes, right? The guy, the the Duragar steps forward, and then, and uh, some blood flow is lost. Cazador, as he tightens those ropes way more than necessary, you start feeling a tingly feeling in like three of your left fingers. Yeah. Uh, more oh, trick. Like, oh, you want me to sing? This guy the begins Super Marioing down. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> he and all of his equipment return to like normal dwarveny size. And he's like, oh. don't do that again. Do it That's right this time. Bitch. All right. Um, so he's, he's not normal size. Is he? He's not normal. He size. is now dwarven sized instead yeah. of super giant sized. Yeah. Okay. You've heard that some Duragar can do this. You also have heard that Duragar can turn invisible. Yeah. I've also heard Ruina could could possibly try and grapple the now normal sized dwarf. That is a thing Ruina could possibly try to do, except that Ruina is about to get tied up by Mortric. Yeah. Yeah. So. So let's talk about that, Ruina. How do you feel about being tied up by Mortric? We got any plans to not be tied up? Maybe surprise attacks? Know. I'm gonna like as I approach Ruina, I'm waiting for a significant glance from Ruina if she wants me to try this again or not. She gives you a smoldering glare that lets you know to die in a fire. <laughs> That's why she always looks at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I getting a significant glance from Ruina? I think no you sound. Made, no I didn't sound hear weird. Yeah, I still can't hear anything. Hello? Hello? There we oh, go. There you are. Um, yeah. Yes, you are getting a glance from me. Alright, alright. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and Just letting you know, this guy is aware of your shit this time. Yeah, so it's gonna be disadvantage? Yeah. Okay. Well I, yeah, I think the, the grab Let's might go be. Go ahead, let's do it. <sighs> Oh Damn it. man! Oh uh, boy! All what right. Are you about? I see a twenty-five. <clears throat> but he's at yeah, disadvantage because this guy is oh, looking okay, for it. So okay. Eleven. Got it. Yep. Uh, where was that twenty earlier? So he like plants a foot on Runa's back and tightens the rope real quick. Right as Runa like attempts to escape, he's just right. he turns to you, Mortric, and he's like. <gasps> You have a good career ahead of you. Have you considered joining Mercenary Company? <laughs> I'm like, I had to try, right? Yeah, yeah. no, I get it. And then he punches you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> My plan worked. 
<laughs> so he looks up at you, Mortric, and he's like, look, I get it. I know that you want to escape, but here's the deal. You're going to help lead your friends out, or I'm going to snap this one's neck. And he picks up Rick Jacks like a kitten behind the neck. And it's just like, you're going to follow my instructions and go where I tell you to. We'll talk about how we dispose of you. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay. You misbehave, the disposal will be literal. Now, I hear you are looking for employment opportunities. Have you considered mercenary work? Well, we were just kind of in the area on a different job when this opportunity presented itself. Uh, so, <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> so he's going to guide you guys uh, to a location. Do you follow where he's telling you to go? I'm going to give the party a significant, well, yeah, the ones that are still awake, a significant client saying, yeah, we should at least follow them to wherever they're going. What's our, is he in front of me now? Like, is he He's in back? the back. And he's having Mortric lead you guys, and he's giving Mortric the commands. Okay. And he's holding Rick Jacks. Yeah. All right. So I say we follow. We gotta buy time right now. Yeah. All right. So he takes you guys north to that third door you just never really got around to entering. Uh, of course. <clears throat> you go in there. On the other side, there's like this nice training grounds room perfectly clean and all spackled <clears throat> inside good work. i'm impressed he tells you to avoid this door like he's like he sees more trick going for it. he's like no not that door you'll die <laughs> if you go through that door <laughs> and then he points to a trip wire uh that's going across the room and he's like don't don't touch that on the southern door don't do that either <laughs> Got it. Thank you for the heads up. He gets you through a revolving door into a nicely appointed office. There's like pillows all along the floors. There's rugs <laughs> along the the walls. Uh, the ceiling in here has depiction of Duragar. Uh, the rock in here has been darkened so that the Duragar traditional trademark colors stand out on the ceiling. Uh, it looks like Duragar is stabbing a bunch of dwarves to death with war picks. Feels very fitting. <laughs> so he just kind of gestures around and then uh, looks over your guys' clothing, kind of looks over all of the blood and all that stuff, and then like pulls out some towels and puts them over the rugs and cushions. And he's like, <laughs> you sit down over there on those. He walks over to a desk with a chair sits down and just like turns his back to you all pulls out a quill and ink and paper and says what are your names i'm uh i'll just make i'll make introductions for everyone occupation um like as a group or individually as a group as a group do we really define ourselves as a group guys um no. let's just bounty hunters simple like yeah bounty hunters treasure seekers um highwaymen and women sorry uh i don't know how much space do you have in there i feel like we fill a variety of roles i don't want to limit ourselves i'm just gonna write so. down bandit yeah it probably covers a lot of bases can i ask your reasons for this visit so again, we're in town on a completely unrelated matter. We don't really need to get into that. But while no, we're I'm at, curious. What I is the unrelated matter? Why we're in town? Yes, I'd like to send you on your way. Honestly, I don't actually remember. I wasn't paying when we took the job. I just need the money. But so we came to this quaint little how much money? Guy named Gurney. How much money do I need, or how much money do I want? Because those are two very. How much money do you need? Um, okay, so we owe 200 for the scroll. We owe, how much do you think that wagon of maces was worth? You, you don't know anything for that. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, not your know. wagon of maces. <laughs> not our stuff. Well, I mean, I feel like we're responsible for it. So, like, if we're going to make reimbursements to people, we're going to need to handle those Who do you funds. need to reimburse for it? Yeah. He doesn't know we don't All we did was okay. deliver those goods to the, that guy as, a, as like, a All that wagon of maces is probably worth like easily hundred plus gold. 
Okay, so for the Wagon of Maces, 100 plus, I have about, I don't know, like 250, maybe three outstanding loans uh, from the university. I've got like another 100 in non-subsidized loans. So like that interest is about to murder me, let me tell you. Do you guys need anything? What are you guys after? You know what? Let's throw in 100 for Rick Jacks too. Um, what are we at? Let's you just call it a thousand. Let's just call it a thousand gold. We're talking about this time. Like, where is Runa? Have you seen a d female dwarf come by these parts? Female dwarf. Female. That's not Runa. That's the other lady. Not Runa. Sorry. Uh, Aura. Oren. There was a female subject dwarven brought through here the other day, sometime last night. <clears throat> it's not my job to deal with such things. Might I suspect that you were the intruders from last night as well, then? What? That would be a very good guess. You've struck me as a very astute individual. I see. You killed several of my goblins. Well, I mean... We wanted to make a good impression. They're replaceable. They did attack us first. Yeah, they are just goblins. I'm Let's not be... blaming you. That's what they're there for. Yeah, Scream loudly. Yeah. Give me preparation time. The rest of the squad... Look, there are some people who call me a uh, psychopath, but I feel like that I'm more of a harsh. astute businessman. Yes, that is what I thought, too. That's what I told these guys. I was thinking that maybe you all could help me with some trouble in town. You kind seem like the kind of people that need about a thousand gold. And your companion back alive. Yes, that would help, too. We would preferably have him back alive before the thousand no no you can do this job for me i'll give him back after the master doesn't need to know anything about this i don't care about the old man either i watched you torture him it was kind of funny for a little while then i got boring yeah it's because Kazadwar's new to that whole torture thing. It really takes someone. Well, you with... guys seem pretty effective at it. Fine. I... Yeah, no, that's what I thought too. It just I mean... runs out after a little while. You know, they do it all the time around here. <laughs> it's only good in small bursts. What so, are you looking to have done in town? What is this job? Yeah. <sighs> have you heard of Bacchuson? Is he the smith? He is indeed the smith. So yeah. he like puts his quill down and turns around in the chair to face you. And you can see there's like a gleam in his eyes. He has several things that I want. He's been working right. on weapons. Forging magical craft. Some of it, it is said, even rivals dwarven work. I would see this for myself. I spit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we saw him working. We actually met him earlier today. Uh, All I need you to do is break into his storage area, steal his magical weapons, and bring them back to me. I'll pay you a thousand gold, give you back your thing, All right, I think that's something whoa, whoa, we can do. Hold on, hold on. Don't let <laughs> let's talk about this first. What kind of magical? Like, are you looking for a certain number? Like all of them. You'll bring me all everything. All of them. All of them. Do you know what he has like in stock right now? Because like we met him in town. We weren't actually out of this place. Like, Allow me to be clear here. You seem like you believe that you can effectively lie to me. But I'm a mercenary company leader. I'm used to people like you trying to lie to me. I'm pretty sure I've broken more than my share of hands and feet and teeth. Speaking of hands, can we be untied? I think at this point... If Once we're you're gonna... in agreement with me in an amenable fashion... I could untie you. I think I think I don't think we have a choice, fellas. It's I mean, not like there's anyone to help you. There's no guards in the town. I also really like my hands and you could run, but this 
thing here will die and well, yeah, it's not that's not a great you look seem like people who care about things yeah yeah i i let's agree you're people with debts i know about travelers and bandits and brigands like you like you need the money to get things done this town does it really Needs matter to you do the concerns of these people really stir your heart well he's talking and i'm i'm thinking i'm trying to signal to runa if i can like if he unties us maybe we could try jumping him <laughs> how you feeling about that runa that is a hell of a look uh, i'm not really looking at anybody i'm sort of looking at the ground so if he does look at me in any way then i don't see it yeah, but I'm pretty close to the ground relative to you. <laughs> you have a point. That's sound logic right there. All right, you're looking down. You notice your Cazador fidgeting in a corner. Yeah. He's I mean, trying to get your attention. He keeps doing that thing where he turns his head towards the bad guy. And he's just like, huh? Uh, yeah, I don't see him. Oh, boy. That's rough for you, Cazador. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, like I, you know, for my part, I'm I'm all in. Uh, so yeah, let's 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 do this thing. All right, he starts approaching you. More trick, and he holds a hand out. Can I get a perceptive roll on on like just how stout this guy is? Like, you know, how tough does this guy look? I, okay. I yeah. That. Yeah. Make an insight roll. <clears throat> like is he you want to know how hard he is you know yeah you want to get you want to gauge his power level right <laughs> it's over nine thousand. uh <laughs> it would be tough to fight him without rick jacks it's doable it's yeah. doable but probably more trick will die but, but we don't have any weapons right now. <laughs> that's correct yeah you don't have any weapons he left them in the other room yeah so the only way we'd be able to get him is if we grappled him to the ground because we if we're we're three people we could just like jump on him we're and one people with two people tied up he wouldn't have time to think about this because i'm assuming he wants his answer now yeah no like i'm well, sure we can, we can agree Ka to him. Cazador is coming up with a plan can he communicate <laughs> that plan with everybody else right well i'm okay i'm just saying like if, if okay before i shake this guy's hand i'm gonna look around i'm gonna see rick jacks's broken mangled lifeless body it's not that lifeless he's still breathing <laughs> Lifeless. I see. <laughs> oh yeah, Rick Jacks, go ahead and roll a D4 real quick to see how long it takes for you to come back. Runa, who is not looking at anyone, and then Casador, whose eyebrows I'm assuming look like epileptic caterpillars as he's trying to communicate everything. See, he's gonna untie all three of us. So I'm not tied. He's holding a hand out to you, Mortric. What's going on? Yeah, I'm shaking his hand. I'm going to all shake right. his hand. He he untied Zaruna next turns his back on Runa and starts heading over towards Kazador. Mortric and Runa are both behind him now as he's untying Kazador. Now I will look at Runa. Attack! Alright. All right. I'm going to cast so, sleep. That is a, oh, are you sure you want to do that? I just want to ask before you do it, are you sure? Uh, let me read the spell real That fast. would be extremely wise. <laughs> <laughs> why what's uh can you guys explain like why? <laughs> i think he might be it starts with the lowest hit point creatures first which is oh, all of you but it's all of them isn't it yes yeah. <laughs> creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose <laughs> that would not be you great. would have knocked out your whole party by yourself <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah You're like i can't sleep everybody <laughs> falls over the dwarf's just like what <laughs> <laughs> yeah nope i am i am not doing that no sir are you guys gonna wait till after he unties my hands or you just no, uh, no. Him and then i'll try to let's jump him and because that we need to start that and then if we're jumping we need to bring him down to the ground like we need to we need to get making sure make sure he doesn't get his war pick out because then we're 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 seriously just screwed like there's no coming back from that then Right, I mean, like, I'm looking at Runa. Runa said attack. Like, 
okay, so are we surging? And then Runa's like, well, maybe not. And we're just like, oh, hey, behind him when he turns around, are we going for this? I attack. All right. I'll, I'll yeah, double up dying. on the attack. That sounds like a great cliffhanger. Uh, Cazador, <laughs> his hands tied behind his back, the the untying, you know, the bunny nod is being pulled out as the two of them surge weaponless behind to tackle this guy to the ground. Rick Jacks sitting in the corner. Uh, and it's two hours from him. So how long has it been? Like ten, 10 minutes? minutes. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Probably less than ten minutes, really. Okay. So let's see how much experience you guys are gonna get. Do we roll a new characters next week, guys? <laughs> yeah, I think we should have some backup. I think uh, I might have a backup. I've already started, yeah. I would have a backup ready. It does seem like things have not gone your way. Rolls have been very bad. Some people's rolls have been very bad, fellas. Jeez. Some situations. Uh, I mean, we rolled like three point. ones in a row, right? Yes, it was, save, it was horrible. Yeah. 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 Plus, this guy came out of nowhere. He yeah. So oh, he invisible. followed you guys invisibly for a while, and yeah, then yeah. when you failed that wedging, he like laid a trap there, waited for you guys to come back. Uh -uh. So, so this is all because of more trick. I mean, look, <laughs> there were several failures <laughs> along the way. You really can't just pin it on more trick. I mean, I, I feel can. like that's unfair, but not entirely. Yeah, I mean, you, like, you could. Rest, you guys, though, jeez. <laughs> All right, divide it four ways. You guys get 63 experience points. All right, we'll see if we'll use them. I don't think that's going to be enough to... Uh... We can start at zero next week anyway. Wait, where's XP currently? So it's 101 total. That sounds about right. 58 this time? 58 last time, 63 you said this time? No, 121 yep. total. 121, yeah, sorry. And it's 300 or 600 or 900. I feel like 300 it's like for the first 300. level. The second. We're a third of the way there. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you kill this guy, you're going to be a hell of a lot of the way there. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. And I need like to look up the rules to being grappled. This week. You have to look at the rules for what? You can have only nat 20s next week. Grappling. Grappling, yeah. I mean, in this case, Runa's like, what, two... 240? 240 pounds? Probably. You're overthinking it, Connor. 6'4? 6'4, but you don't know how much she weighs. <laughs> Guys, just don't die because I don't want to have to redraw this. <laughs> yeah, is, this is amazing. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a great commemorative piece. It really will be. <laughs> the, fail the first failure <laughs> party. The first of many. Look, if you want to talk about first of many. Uh, there's an adventure path for Pathfinder I did called Reigns of Winter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a creature at the very beginning called a Tatzel Worm. It's basically like a small wolverine dragon that can bury itself in the snow and move regularly while everybody else moves at half speed. And I had the same group of people, six players instead of four, die to it like seven consecutive times in a row. They knew where it was, what they were facing. They made characters specifically to kill it. it. It's strong, but it's not that strong. They just kept dying to it over and over again. It was bad. The Tassel Worm is a horrible encounter. It's the half speed that kills everybody. You can't flee from a Wolverine dragon. Yeah, it sounds pretty brutal. Yeah, that's pretty bad. All right. Things have gone in a different direction, perhaps, than what the party hoped. <laughs> <laughs> will we see them alive again it's unclear probably rick jacks will wake up at some point the rest of the party i'm not so clear on. you know he's not part of this right like this guy is a total uh i mean i wouldn't say businessman uh tyrant yeah. yeah entrepreneur is a very good word for it uh in the same way that uh a dentist could become a torturer in a third world country. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> He's an entrepreneur in the absolute loosest <laughs> form of it. <clears throat> Let us say goodbye and good night to everybody by doing some outros. I am, of course, Arthur Perkins. This has been AP Gaming Real. It's rare for me to have a campaign go this poorly so quickly. 
Uh, we do our best. But I'm looking forward to seeing how the next combat goes, because it's going to be one of those desperate, dirty struggles that should you succeed down the road in like seven or eight sessions, you're going to be like, remember that time we wrestled that Durgar to the ground and then we punched him in the throat until he died 20 rounds later? <laughs> Yeah, yeah to, good times, good times. We're going to have to roll well next week. You can catch me here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes Saturdays, maybe Fridays, who knows. You can check my schedule by going to twitch.tv slash apgamingreal and clicking that giant schedule button. Connor, why don't you tell us what you're doing when you're not being tied up? Uh, I'm Connor Hughes. Uh, draw a comic called White Ash. Um, we just wrapped up our fourth Kickstarter for that, and we're planning a trade pretty soon. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. I stream on Twitch at some point. I will be again. <laughs> uh, so keep an eye out for that too, please. Bearded, this is this is look really great tonight. You did a Thanks, just amazing job. Yeah, it's yeah too bad so... all those people are dead now. <laughs> I mean, they're not dead yet. Yes, they're mostly, mostly dead. dead. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I stream stuff like this on Twitch, sometimes comics, sometimes illustration, but always always art. And you could uh, find me at uh, Bearded Jalapeno on all my social medias, Twitch, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that oh, good yeah, stuff. Do you know a Twitter? I just, I forgot. Earlier. You're a tweeter? I am. I mean, I only ever use it when Instagram automatically posts to it, but I guess technically the thing social media is hard guys it really sucks i hate it why don't you tell us about your social media and everything else that you do uh social media is pretty awful um but i'm there on twitter instagram and Ooh, twitch reflex. as mick comiker um i have a comic called rovers uh that just successfully funded a kickstarter just back in december but you can still pick up a book if you would like um just contact me through one of those social medias and i'm currently working on a another comic that is a lovecraftian horror inspired version of sleepy hollow that you can watch me draw on twitch monday through friday have you been to sleepy hollow i have not that's wonderful very, very uh, ultra chic, rich people in the oldest colonial style. I'm Google Maps. It, it seems like that type of place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sold a house up there. Pretty is good. That, is that what you do during the day? Is you sell houses? No, I mean it only happens occasionally. Yeah. Sometimes during the day, I'm normally an electrical engineer or a streamer. One of those things. Oh, right. I think you told me that, but... It's true. That's true. Planet Chaos underscore art. Or that's probably not correct. Just Planet Chaos art. Yeah, I looked it up. Even I was getting it wrong. So yeah. you guys can find me on... You guys can find me on Twitch, where it is Planet Chaos um, art. No, it's Planet Chaos. Yeah, I keep getting it backwards. So on Twitch, it's Planet Chaos with a K. On Instagram, it's Planet Chaos underscore art. So I have other social medias, but you know, those are the two places I like to be found the most. Um, so I, I draw on the side, I do commissions for D and D characters. If you want any commissions done currently, I'm drawing D and D monsters as much as I can. And uh, we have a lot of fun on stream. So I hope to see you guys there. I'm hoping that I haven't killed everybody's zeal for Dungeons and Dragons with the end here. Nah. Kind of feels yeah, okay, good. Cause it kind of feels like we're ending on a sour note. But I really want to come back next session with this whole strangle this guy to death thing and see if yeah. we can make it work. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to go with this. This guy's a Durogar. Like, that sounds badass. It's one of, yeah. Planet, Planet Chaos is drawn next week, correct? Yep. I am. So you might as well just let Rick Jack sleep for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't worry. Rick Jacks will have his own, you know, the spirits of the ancients for an will show up and be like, are you, are you deep gnome enough, bro? <laughs> <laughs> have you lifted? Yeah. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. It'll be fun either way. Yep. Yep. Do we get to everybody? 
Yes, we sir. did. I think we did because I didn't introduce Bearded, but Connor just tossed it over there, which happens yeah. sometimes. You know, it's fine. I I don't need to get everybody around, but that's it. That's us. Uh, we'll see if that really is us next <laughs> next week. Everybody's good next week. Yep. yep. We are. Yeah. I mean, right. it's only gonna take like what thirty minutes, and then we'll log off to make those characters. <laughs> I mean, we could make the characters live. Yeah, who, know, who knows? The second party that comes to investigate the first one, you know? It's been three like months. Been no one found movie. them. And now there's a zombie infestation in the middle of Apple <laughs> Valley. Rich, Rick Jax is just going to wake up, have to, like, take the job, and we're just, like, other people that wanted the job. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping to steal from that guy. <laughs> Damn it. He just played three more tricks. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, you guys are gonna be very disappointed. If you think my new character is gonna be any different than my? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I walk. I, I would make the same, almost the same exact character. Dang it. Your, <laughs> your new character is the guy who was hunting Mortric to get his student loans back. All right, guys, we'll be back next week. Then we'll see you then. All right, take care. Good night.